guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to make a really quick video talking about going inactive as a distributor of Senegence or Sheersense. Now it's very hard to go inactive as a distributor because all you have to do is place a 100 PV order within a six month period. I'm going to talk in terms of the UK just to make this more, com more simple but the same principle relates to US dollars as well. So a 100 PV order in the UK is £200 a retail order, but with that you get 20% off. So you're actually not paying £200. But all you have to do is pay it over a six month period. So that means if you place, if you sign up in September, you place a £250 order in September, you then don't have to place another order until six months later. So you've got September covered. You've then got November, December, January, February, March covered. So you don't have to place another order until the same date in April. If you place an order of £250 on the 6th of September, you then have to place another order of at least £200 retail product by the 6th of April. So I hope that makes sense. So basically you just have to make sure you've got a 100 PV order in within a six month period. Now, the thing that some people don't get is that you don't have to place that 200 pound worth of retail product all at once. So if you place a 20 PV order and then a 30 PV order and then a 50 PV order, that is your six month period. Um, that is your 100 PV total. So that would then be covered until that very first 20 PV order had expired. So you would just have to place a 20 PV order until that next date. Then you'd have to pay a 30 PV order until that next date. So you just have to make sure you've placed a 100 PV order within a six month period. So I'm gonna try and show a graphic from a video that someone else did, um, trying to explain that a little bit more clearly on a booklet. Um, and hopefully that makes sense. You signed up April 1st and placed a 25 PV order. Um, you're going to be good and active until October 1st as long as you place 100 PVs worth of orders by October 1st. So 25 PV on April 1st and then in May you place 75 PV. So you're good, you're at your 100, you're good until October 1st as long as you know you, you have 100 and even if you don't order again you will be active until October 1st. Then say you don't order in June, you don't order in July, August, you place 10 PV. Um, you're still good, you're over 100 PV in that time frame, but 10 PV is not enough to put to move your time frame because April would drop off and you can add 75 plus 10 PV in August and that's still only 85. So you're still only good from April to October. And then in September, you ordered 20 PV. So that would shift your months because it's over 100 PV. So 75 PV in May plus 10 PV in August is 85 plus 20 PV in September. That puts you at 105 PV. So now your active period is from May 1st or May whatever date you place that 75 PV order until November. Um, and then in, so you would only be good May till November if you don't order again. But then in October, you place 80 PV. So 80 PV plus 20 PV is 100 PV, so that starts your 100 PV over. So then you're good from September, October, November, December, January, until February if you don't order again. So it, the, the six month timeline kind of shifts based on the last order that's keeping you over 100 PV. So I hope that makes sense to everyone who is a distributor and not quite sure how much their minimum is. As Sengins is such an incredible business, you do not have to do any monthly minimums. So it is literally just a 100 PV order within a six months. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll speak to you next time. Bye. Another order of at least